Top of the morning to all you good beasts out there. I am Abacus Watchtower, and we have something special for you on this installment of the show. Easy for you to be so happy about it, Abacus. You're not the one actually doing this show. The vulgar vulpine who just spoke without introducing himself is Jacob Axion, and he has an important message to deliver to you all today. Our next broadcast will resume the normal format. What's normal? My dear friend, normal is what everyone else is, and you are not. I think I'll take that as a compliment. If you say so. It doesn't matter to me, since I won't be here. Huh? Where are you going? Some excavators out in this shore have found something they think may be of man, so I've been asked to go and have a look at it. I just hope I don't get any sand in my joints. It would really... Grind your gears? Yes. I'm off now. Good luck. What? Now? Come on, don't leave me by myself with these normal people to do this. If you survive the down below, you'll survive this show. Thus exit the villain. Where's a melodramatic piano when you need one? Silly Foxen. You don't need a piano when you have the melodious voices of Jan and myself here with you. Huh? Hi, Jacob. We're just here to make sure your PSA goes off without a hitch. For those of you out there who don't know, Jacob Axion was once forced to eat a dead shroomy to keep from starving to death. The Earth Oracle later purged that sin from his soul, but we're having him deliver this public service announcement because it deals with those lovable fungi. Can't believe you survived it. Everyone knows how poisonous Amanita are. Would you kindly shut up, both of you? This isn't the Yon and Ronin show. Where was I? Oh yeah, the show. Where's that script? Okay. <clears throat> it's time for a Hartwood Tower Voice public service announcement. We've been getting reports of people out there having encounters with shroomies, and apparently some of you have forgotten how we're supposed to treat our kept comrades. I don't care what you've heard. They're not walking rot bringers spreading decay wherever they go. Shroomies are just as intelligent and just as committed to the preservation of Earth as you and I. Shrooms are friends, not food. Okay, they put that one in there just to spite me. <coughs> Shroomies are blessed by Gaia because they've been given a special mission on this Earth. They're looking for the key to defeat Jal once and for all. Haha, <laughs> real cute, Mr. Poet. The key could be literally anything or anywhere, so wherever you see a Shroomy, that's where they're supposed to be. Even if they come up to you and start going through your stuff. Just like when your parents used to do to you when you were a kid, you'll just have to endure it. Even if they leave spores on you. So. If you see any shroomies out there, give them a high four, or three if you're a hard or yeti, or even better, a glomp? I, I don't think so, they probably don't like that. Ah yes, one caveat, those Amanita Verosa lurking around the great forest in Deadwood, they are pretty much walking rot bringers, so kill as many of those as you can. Otherwise, there's shroom for everyone in this wonderful world, so let's all do the truffle shuffle and have... Fun with our fungi friends, for with the shroomy, you'll never be gl Okay, who wrote this anyway? You honestly expected me to read this with a straight face? This ain't no kid's bedtime story here. It was you, wasn't it, Ronin? You know, life isn't just about prancing around, picking heartwood blossoms, and ooing at glowing things. Why so serious, Jacob? Because these are serious times we're living in, with serious threats, and if we don't take them seriously, then they're seriously going to take away everything we've worked so hard to earn this past age. Ah, uh, says the cute, fluffy, furry, simply adorable fox with a mushroom on his head. Shut up about it! I had to die to earn this thing. Then why not celebrate the life you've been given back? Okay, you wouldn't need to ask me that if you've been through what I have. When you found yourself in the dark depths of Rapunzel's tower, bruised and bleeding and covered in frog prince slime, and you're kneeling over the lifeless but still blinking bodies of your compatriots, rifling through their pockets for the last of the amber so you can resurrect them, while the rogue runs off with all the hard-earned spoils, then you'll know why. Ask Medley, she knows what I'm talking about. And her little sister, too, because she's the one I was talking about in Rapunzel's tower. Then after that, we had to go steal back those stupid winter dawning presents from that stupid troll Grindel. And again, guess who makes up with all the loot? The rogue. <sighs> you know, frankly, it's a wonder that more of us aren't driven to eating shrooms. I'm out of here. Abacus better get back before his next show, because I ain't doing it by myself again. <laughs>